Experiment to determine the percentage weight per volume of sodium hypochlorite in household bleach. Most household bleaches such as Parazone and Domestos contain chlorine in the form of sodium hypochlorite, NaClO. To determine the strength of household bleach, a sample of the bleach is reacted with a solution of iodide ions in the conical flask. The iodine formed is then titrated against a solution of sodium thiosulfate of known concentration. Using a pipette filler, 25 cm cubed of the concentrated household bleach was pipetted into a clean 250 cm cubed volumetric flask. As household bleach is usually fairly concentrated, it must be diluted before it is used in this experiment. Otherwise, a large amount of reagents would be used in the titration. Deionized water was added to the volumetric flask and made up to the mark. Note that we have diluted the bleach 10 times. The stoppered flask was inverted about 20 times. Burette, pipette and conical flask have already been washed out with deionized water. The burette has been washed out with some of the 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate solution previously standardized and filled up to the mark with the solution. We have checked that the tap and space below the tap are also filled and the funnel has been removed from the burette. 100 cm cubed approximately of the diluted bleach was poured into a beaker. Using a pipette filler, the pipette was washed with a small amount of this solution. Then, using a pipette filler, 25 cm cubed of the bleach solution was pipetted into the conical flask. Using a graduated cylinder, add 20 cm cubed approximately of dilute sulfuric acid. followed by 10 cm cubed of 0.5 molar potassium iodide solution to the conical flask. Note the reddish brown colour of the iodine formed. The equation for this reaction is shown on the screen. The hypochlorite ion is like potassium permanganate in that it is an oxidizing agent and converts iodide ions to iodine. Carry out the titration in the usual manner until the solution in the conical flask becomes pale yellow. Now add a few drops of starch indicator. Note the blue black colour that is formed when the starch reacts with the iodine.
continue the titration, adding the thiosulfate solution drop by drop until the blue-black colour disappears to give a colourless solution. Note the titration figure. Perform one rough and two accurate titrations. The two accurate titration figures should agree to within 0.1 cm3. From the results of the titration, we can then calculate the concentration of sodium hypochlorite in the bleach. The method of calculating the amount of sodium hypochlorite in the bleach is shown in your textbooks. Using the titration figures that you yourself have obtained, Calculate the exact concentration of the sodium hypochlorite in the household bleach. The method of calculation is shown in your textbook. This concludes the experiment.